Okay, we're going to install the uh, RS, what's called RS Networks for Device Net and RS Networks for Ethernet. First, we're going to install RS Networks for Device Net. Uh, like I said, if you're not going to have a device net, don't even bother installing this. You'll never use it. Uh, you have to have device net devices to see them on the network. Um, and this allows you to configure how your device net modules communicate and give them addresses. So, um, I'm just going to come down here. Rather than copy all this up, I'm just going to install it. And here's device net. And we'll hit setup. Okay, we have to have our go up to our activation disk and read me activation instructions. And we have to copy in our serial number again. We're going to need that. We hit required steps and uh, we want to install RS Networks. Install RS Networks. Don't worry about the rest of this. Just in, we've already got we already got RS Links Classic full blown gateway installed, so don't install Lite. Just install RS Networks. And it says RS Links is running. We need to shut down RS Links. So come over to RS Links down here. Communication service. Say shut down RS Links Classic. And it says shut down anyway. Uh, we got our module here running. Let's shut down our. Let me stop. First, let's shut down the Soft Logics monitor. So move over to the Soft Logics monitor right here. That's our Soft PLC. And it says chassis, right click and say shut down monitor. That shuts down the monitor. Now shut down RS Links. So right click there and say shut down RS Links Classic. And yes, shut it down anyway. Now they're shut down, they're both gone. We hit retry and it'll install. And accept. Next. Paste in your serial number and next. Alright, this is device net. Uh, so power flex drives, we're not going to run any power flex drives with device net. If, if you're going to run a power flex drive with device net, like a power flex 40 with the device net adapter, you install that, but I'm going to say no, it's not available. Device net safety hardware, no, it's not available. 305 drives, no, it's not available. They're really, really old. Point modules, you may use those. Uh, the 1769 Compact I.O. No, not available. All the rest of this is X'd out. Just leave it X'd out. And all we're installing is just point modules and DNet Basic. And of course, our program and tutorial files. Hit Next and Install. And this will install a bunch of EDS files again, just like we did with RS Links, except there's more of them. Th these are just newer, updated files, and they update the EDS files, electronic data sheets.
while we're doing this, I'm going to copy up my uh, RS Links control panel and put it on the desktop. So if we go up here to RS Rockwell Software, RS Links, and then go to RS Links control panel, and then hold down control, and then right click on your mouse and hold down and drag that out onto the desktop and let go of the mouse. I don't know why you didn't do it. Software, RS Links, Control Panel. I say copy here. And there it is. And I'll put RS Links up here also. This way we can start RS Links really easy. We just click up here and start RS Links when we're ready. Start our Control Logics Panel our soft logics control panel PLC when we're ready Okay, it says to install PowerPoint, uh, you need a CD, product CD, but uh, we're not going to install PowerPoint. If you want to download a PowerPoint viewer, you can. Uh, there's no reason to download a PowerPoint viewer. That's all there is to it. Hit OK, and then uncheck the release notes and hit finish. Okay, all we do is click exit, and now we go to start, programs, Rockwell software. RS Networks, and you see we've got RS Networks for Device Net. Now, I can't show anything because I don't have any Device Net connected right now, but you would hit your WHO. And by the way, you can see this is activated about the networks. You'll see we're activated here, exclusive license. Uh, we would hit who and we would actually browse for either in the processor we'd go underneath here and in the rack we would see if we were in a rack we'd have a device net card that would be the device net master that communicates to all the device net devices on the device net cable network or we might go to uh, a, we have an ethernet to device net what's called ethernet to device net gateway and it's just a little box that mounts on a DIN rail and you have your Ethernet come in one side and your device net come out of the other side and it acts like a, a device net master card also it's a device net master uh, that'll be for another video so we've installed device net um, and if you're going to use it you should study up on it a little bit or watch a video on it um, that's good to go and let's move on